Okay, so you've got your ST and you love retro gaming on it. Um, but at some point, you're going to want to download either a demo or, or a game off the web on your PC and play it on the real ST, play it on the real thing. Um, so you're going to need to transfer files from your PC across to your ST. Um, so one of the ways to do this is using floppy disks. Um, and there are a couple of things you need to know about, um, which I'm going to go through now and hopefully help you transfer your files across. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to find the right type of floppy disks. So for the vast majority of cases, you'll want what are called 720 kilobyte double density disks. So these are the only type that's compatible between both PC and ST, so are suitable for transferring files. Um, what do they look like? Well, they look like this. Um, they have the read, write, protect slider up here and most importantly, nothing else. So no other hole over here. Um, comparing that to a, a regular PC disc, you can see it's got two holes, the read, write, protect slider and another hole over here. So these aren't sold anymore, um, but you can go to eBay or you can go to Atari ST specialists to, to try and find them. Um, I found a, a batch of 20 for about 15 pounds. Um, or you can use old disks. So this old cover disk, we could format this and, and use that to transfer files. That would work too. Um, if you can't find double density disks, you can try repurposing PC high density disks for the job. So you can see what I've done here is I've taped over the, the second hole. I've taped over the corner on both sides with an opaque tape that doesn't let light through. Um, and this will trick the ST's drive into thinking it's using a, a double density disk and it can work. Um, I've been told that the reliability is much lower and the disk is likely to, to conk out um, after a few writes but if you're in a pinch you, you could try this. So that's the disk format. You really want double density disks. The second thing to care about is finding the right type of drive. So ideally you want one of these. So this is a, a traditional ATA floppy drive. Um, and it's definitely the, the most compatible with all the various ST disk formats. Um, if you use a, a laptop or a, a PC, a modern PC that doesn't have one of these old floppy connectors, and you know this is not an IDE connector, this is a special floppy connector, so you may not have one of these, um, then you could try a USB floppy disk. So this is a USB floppy drive. Um, do be warned though, you know, the compatibility with, with these for, for the ST is much lower. Um, and specifically look out for one that mentions 720 kilobytes, 720 KB compatibility. Um, you'll definitely need one of those. Um, even if you do find one that has 720 KB compatibility, they're not as compatible as a as an old ATA floppy drive. This is this is really what you want. Um, a third option, and this is what I actually did, uh, might be to buy an old laptop. So, you know, if you can't plug uh, an old floppy drive into your PC, well, buy an old PC. So I picked this up from eBay uh, for about 20 pounds, and you can see right there, it's got an old floppy disk on there, and it's an old ATA floppy drive. So it's gonna work really reliably for all the various ST disk formats out there. Um, so that's what you need. Um, now we're going to head over to the PC and we're going to try formatting some of these disks. Okay, so we've gotten hold of the right disks, um, probably 3.5 inch 720K double density disks. Um, and we've also gotten hold of a, a 3.5 inch floppy drive for the PC that supports double density disks. Um, so now we're ready to prepare or format our disk and start transferring the files. Um, so the easiest way to do this um, is to get your disk and pop it in the PC drive. So I've done that already. Um, and then head to the command line. Um, once you're there, uh, type format A, that's our floppy drive letter, slash T80, so that's for 80 tracks, slash N, nine so that's nine sectors per track and when you press enter um, and then enter again it's going to start formatting um, 
So it's going to assess those parameters and it says, yep, that's a 720k disk then. Um, and it starts formatting. Um, it takes a little while, so I'll whiz the video on. Okay, done. Um, so I don't care about the volume label, so I'll hit enter again. And now we have a formatted 720 kilobyte disk that'll work both on the PC and the ST. Um, so I press, I don't want to format another disk. Um, so what we need to do next is we actually need to put something on the disk. We're gonna transfer a file across. Um, so I'm a command line guy, so I'm going to head over here onto the hard disk. And if I list out my directory, I've got this file here. This is what I'm gonna copy across. So I go copy magic 30.tos to A. Um, now you could equally well do this via Windows Explorer. There's no reason why you have to do this via the command line. Um, and this is going to take a little bit of time as well. Um, so I'll whiz the video on again. Okay, done. So switch to the A drive, double check it's on there, DIR. Yep, file copied across. So we've got our file, it's copied onto the disk. The disk should work on the ST, so let's give it a try. Okay, so here we are over on the ST. I've got the disk in the drive. I'm gonna double click A, and here we go, magic30.tos, job done.